Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn Romani, Lady of the Room. And this video doesn't necessarily go out to my subscribers, but I hope I can change the minds of people, or maybe not change them, but maybe get somebody to stop saying this. I am so tired. And this goes to Trish. This is also at Trish. I'm sorry, Trish. I've been watching you. And there's times when you've made videos that I find encouraging and interesting and stuff like that. You know, when you're talking about God and the Bible and stuff, being a Christian and everything. That's great. You got me there. Thank you. But at the same time, you are trying to come up with a million and one arguments that are not even based in facts here when it comes to global warming okay it, first of all you go on to say that well I don't really know I don't take it from someone who's just done a uh, little bit of research herself on global warming and happens to also be not only a Christian but an environmentalist. Yes. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> Back. It just that there is proof of a existing. There will be plenty of ways. I will have a have a bunch of links down in my description. You can go search it out yourself. But I'm letting you know right now, there are people at National Geographic that do actually support global warming. And being, guess what? Not a hoax! Hoax. And you know how it happens? You know how it happens? Basically, greenhouse gases have combined and react with carbon dioxide and monoxide that comes from our cars, by the way. Okay. And the thing is, it wouldn't be so bad if it was just, oh, we had a couple of cars running around, you know, per city, per state, or, you know, we all took the bus and stuff. That probably wouldn't be such a big deal. That would not, I mean, it would probably eat just a little bit, but not a whole lot. It wouldn't be enough to the point where we're having all these crazy hot summers and freezing cold winters that bite and your arm practically make it where this is how you have to move just so you can get across that's the floor or uh, in your house oh and by the way I'm not going to I'm not going with Al Gore I understand Al Gore doesn't really you know but there's tons of people who do support global warming who happen to be rich but you know something this is actually something I don't have problems with the rich supporting. This shows people who are rich are not all idiots. Okay? I'm not saying all poor people are absolutely stupid. And oh, by the way, there are ways to recycle and take care of the planet without using a bucket load of money. Okay? I'm glad that we have that incandescent light bulbs might be on its way out. I'm a little concerned for people who are make you know, you know, not making a whole lot of money because yeah, you know, we're not in the greatest of all straits here. This may not be the best time for that, but at the same time, I'm happy that we have a president in fact that's the one thing I can agree with with Barack Obama is that he cares about the environment. Oh, yeah, you know, he's changed his opinion on gay marriage multiple times. Oh, yeah, he's for abortion, or actually, to be fair, he's just as much for religion as you are. Because guess what? Hmm, maybe it's because of the damn Republicans. Pardon my language, but it's the Republicans who are anti that. Because they think, oh, it goes against God's will. And, you know, I'm a Christian. It doesn't go against God's will. Read your Bible. It says, now I can't, I try to find some, uh, 
try to find a quote that states how to be a good steward of the earth. I believe it is in the Bible, because I remember reading it in my Catholic elementary parochial school. In the Bible Belt South. Yeah. It says be a good steward of the earth. So, if that means we should care about global warming, it says care about global warming. Oh, another thing that I'm really tired of when it comes to Christians, especially Christians, is that we think God is going to cure all ills and we don't take care of... Listen up. He's going to help people. He will help people. But, you know, that's because we all come together and work together and do what we're supposed to do. Meaning, you have no right to tell... And, in fact, the reason why those scientists are debunking the whole global warming thing is because, one, okay, I found a Wikipedia thing that actually states that a man by the name of Dennis T. Avery, a food policy and a analyst at the Hudson Institute, which receives from ExxonMobil, the gas company, Okay. and whose educational background is in agricultural economics, wrote an article entitled The 500 Scientists Whose Research Contradicts Man-Made Global Warming in Scares. That is published in 2007 by the Heartland Institute. After the publishing of this article, numerous scientists who had been included and this demanded, in this list, in the list, sorry, demanded their names be removed from the list, was immediately called into question for the misunderstanding and distorting of conclusions of many of the named studies and citing outdated, flawed studies and had been abandoned, deemed inaccurate. Yeah. So, anytime you hear from those people who say, Oh, there's no such thing as global warming. It's the gas companies. The goddamn gas companies. Because they don't want to take any responsibility for the damage that they're causing to the environment. They want to make, guess what? Money. You shouldn't trust everything you read, especially that. Um... And by the way, I'd like you to name one scientist that actually is against global warming. Because I've yet to see any. I've yet to see, hear of any. I'm sure Bill Nye might. Kidding, no, I like Bill Nye. Hey, I'm sure there's people like Tom Cruise who would be opposed to it. Again, actor, but he's not really a scientist. He practices Scientology, I don't know why. I just know he practices it. But still, you don't have to be for global warming. You don't have to agree with it. But there are ways to tell. Like I said, we've had the worst summers to date in the last five years. In this past decade, we have had the worst summers. Uh... Since the 70s, we've had a lot of really bad droughts. Bad. Like, oh my god, bad. Bad. And not just here, all over the world. Uh, polar ice caps are melting. And that is part of the reason why, because, hey, the fire's gotta go somewhere. Oh, oh, um, you probably didn't hear about this. Living in your little bubble-headed world that you like to claim is a good one. I hate to harsh on you so much, but Trish, really? And it's not because I'm a butt-hurt environmentalist. It's because I don't... Okay, sorry. Now, now we're getting into emotions, and that's not good. 
I'm supposed to be telling you why this is your... Oh, I guess you didn't hear about it, but we're, we've gone up from, I think it was 2.4 parts per billion when it came to pollution up to maybe like 14, something like that. It's, it's gone up quite a bit and since a while, for a while. It's, it's not good. Oh, we've rised up and... I'm sorry, I just don't understand people who don't believe in it. When there is obvious proof everywhere on the internet that it, where you can walk around... Oh, okay, here we are. It's gone up from... Oh, wait! It to, it's gone from 1.4 per, per, per million per year to... And this was since 2005 to 2.4 per billion in 2007 and it's probably still growing knowing our environment how much gas we like to use around here yeah it's going up folks yes. and let's put it this way am I against any oh yeah there's thousands of ways to say you know make money and save on recycling in fact actually it does benefit you and it's not just a good idea, it really is a good idea. Because uh, we are using up a lot of our resources quite quickly. Okay. Hence why I am only going to have two children, because as much as I like kids, I still want there to be a good environment for their children, because believe it or not, they might have children. Um, by the way, there are also at least seven people behind me hey, after I post this video. Well, that would probably state, uh, no, there is such a thing as global warming, Trisha. <sighs> so, anyways, this is Evelyn O'Malley saying to my followers, follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and pretty soon my Goodreads blog, which will appear somewhere, I don't know. Anyways, and to Trish, good night, and... Before you make statements like this where people like me can see it and prove it wrong quickly, do your research! Hedge. Good night!